I'm very passionate about humanitarian efforts around the world, and for me, this is the one that seems the most effective. Having Haiti be the first project for peace and justice is appropriate because I think it is the most crucial emergency that we all need to focus on at the moment. It's kind of like the forgotten country in many ways. Even though most people are vacationing in the Dominican Republic, they're vacationing in Miami, South Beach, partying there, and Haiti's just an hour and a half away. When we first did our, like our very first event, um, half the media people, and certainly even half the people that attended that event, didn't even know where Haiti was. Fast forward six months later, the devastating earthquake hit in Haiti, and then everybody actually knew where Haiti was. With over three million Haitians affected, the 2010 earthquake was the country's most devastating natural disaster. Roughly 250,000 people lost their lives and over 300,000 people were injured. It's estimated that 1.5 million men, women and children were displaced and forced to live in makeshift camps. A few of us flew to Haiti and created this fundraiser where we raised, I think it was our first $4 million dollars and that was through Nicole Kidman, Javier Bardem, Penelope Cruz, Daniel Craig. You name, you know, any top celebrity that comes to mind, they were there. They committed $50,000 a year for five years, and that gave us the ability and the opportunity to actually build our school. Over the next 10 years, even more celebrities joined the cause. That's the thing that I love about Artists for Peace and Justice and what we're all about. Yes, we volunteer and get donations, mm -hmm. but the Haitians are doing what the Haitians know that the Haitians need. Mm -hmm. And that's the best way to spend your money. There's no overhead cost, which is something that has deterred me from being really involved in other organizations. It's a very unusual thing to be able to give all the funds raised to the people who need them. And we can go and witness the funds actually going to good work and going to see the children saved, the children fed, the children given medical care, the children buried. Simple things and enormous things and, and things that actually have a huge effect on these people. I remember one of my trips to Haiti and leaving the classroom and one of the little boys had said to me, you're not gonna forget about us, will you? I never forgot that the hope in everyone's faces, the, the mothers, the children, but it's devastating. Like the kids are walking around without any shoes, without any clothes. They're still dying of malnutrition. They live on a dollar a day. Someone had made a donation the other day for $500 and said, I'm sorry, that's all I can give. And I said, do you know how far $500 can go in Haiti? And I think we need to remember that. We build schools. We have the only entirely free secondary school in the nation, in Haiti. It currently has 1,400 students. We're going to have 3,000. We've built it in two, three years' time. And it's something that the U.S. government hasn't been able to do. To see the school grow like that is so tangible, you know what I mean? And to think that normally 80% of kids just can't go on because there was no free school. And so this way, they're all scholarshiped. And yeah, so it was a no-brainer. And in 2016, ET Canada had the honor of traveling to Haiti with APJ to attend the historic ceremony of the first ever graduating class. are making history. You are the first graduating class. And this is very, very special. Monima Johnny. To see what's happened here, to see these children, 150 of them graduating, this is the first time in the history of Haiti there's been a free secondary school. It's astounding. It's inspiring to see how people are living in these conditions and making a change and wanting to make a change in their lives. And education is the key to that. We are looking to expand what we've been able to accomplish in Haiti. It is something that we'd like to look to support other countries in need as well. So we've now supported charities in Uganda and Peru, and um, so it really has expanded. It's just, one, it's an amazing cause. I love what everybody's doing. It's a great team of people, and you know, there's just nothing but love in this team.